Okay. You almost fell off the ledge again, Link. What are you doing? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Good news! I figured out the solution. It really is that simple. Apparently, Link can go on the post. Well, excuse me for not realizing that Link had the, nib had the flexibility of a cat. He was as limber as a cat. But apparently, that's all he had to do. Go figure, right? Go figure. I wonder what's in that treasure chest. Can he open his treasure chest sideways like this? Yes, he can. Cool. You got a big green rupee. It's worth 100 rupees. You know what? <laughs> I don't even have to figure out how to hit them in their weak spots. All I got to do is just shove them off the cliff. That's all you got to do. What the? Hmm. Oh, okay. You just jump across. Pull the four levers to open your way. Draw a line due north. Pull the lever in that location last. Oh, okay. I see. Hmm, interesting. No, menu, map. So directly north of here is to be done last. Four. Okay, I guess I buy that. Although I may have drawn it crooked a little bit. Okay, so... The second one is actually to be pulled last. I guess that makes sense, right? But then... How do I know the other orders? What do you have to say? What do you have to say on the matter, stone statue? Boing boing! The number of treasure chests left here is one! It'll cost you 20 rupees to see where the treasure lies. No thanks. That's your loss, or is it? Good luck! Thanks. Okay. What What say you? Pull the full lever first, pull the lever on the far left. Okay, so, one on the far left. Got it. So that one is to be pulled first. Let's just see how many spaces... Okay, so... First and last are next to each other. You know, I could make a guess right now, but probably wouldn't help me very much. I'm just going to keep bouncing against that <laughs> until he just falls right off the cliff. Ah, it's so great. Okay, so if I drew this even remotely on point... Yeah, yeah, see, see, look at that. That is way too much to the right, so it has to be this one. You know, you got to use um, logic sometimes. So, it's either 2-3 or 3-2. So, I could technically solve it right now, but uh, maybe I should try to find something else first, you know? Just just a hunch. It, I might be better off, less headaches, if I just... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's another stone area. Pull the four levers. Pull the one in front of the tongue second. The tongue? What tongue are you talking about? Your tongue... Or is is there some kind of tongue I should know about? What tongue? In front of the tongue. Oh, okay. That tongue. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that's second. So it's actually three and two. So, if I'm reading this properly, and I should, I have no reason not to, this one should go first. This one should be second. This one should be third. And this should be fourth, right? Huzzah! See, I am an expert at following ins basic instructions. They're so simple that even I could do it. What the? Right, okay. There's got to be some kind of gym that I have to hit, right? Wherever it is, is anyone's guess. What the? Ah, interesting. I can go this way. How delightful. Just hit that thing. Oh, look at that. 
I can use... I can drop on it by just... It is tied to a button. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. I'm glad I learned that. I learned something today. But being a baby, Link. Oh, I see. I get it. Get out of here. Good thing it likes to bounce a lot. There you go. Now get out of my sight. You freak. Ugh. I mean, just look at you. You've certainly got the face only a mother could love. And not even. I'm making a huge assumption that a mother could love you. <laughs> Seriously, a welding mask, little weirdo. Okay, it's got to be done very delicately. Oh, okay. Didn't do a darn thing. Whoops. I don't get it. What did that do then? Oh, okay. I think I understand now. Both of them have to be hit simultaneously. That's what has to happen, right? I've done. Thankfully, I've done this before. Ah, crap. That wasn't what I was intending to do. I was just trying to destroy that thing. Just, you know, just sort of randomly, wildly throw it. Dang it. Keeps evading me. How does it manage to evade everything? And yet, just a straight line is much better. When I'm trying to do everything elaborate, it never works. But just, just be straight up, straight forward. And it works. That's, that's like a lesson for life right there. Or at least, you know, it could be. It could be a lesson for life. Be straightforward. For instance. Well. Okay, a lot of good that did. Frick. How come... How come doing both of those at the same time didn't help? Well, there you go. Ah, I see. So that one is the one that shall control the blocks. I see. Cool. Throw it. Throw the bombs, Link. Okay, clearly the bomb throwing was not done adequately. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that ought to do it. Never mind. Never freaking mind. Ah, crap. This is weird. You would think that it, it landed right next to it, that it would set it off. Okay, that did it. My mistake. It had to be extremely close. I guess it was just very picky. Very picky eater, you know? Who knew? Man. It's like walking on ice. <laughs> As if it isn't exactly that. Stand on the blue tile and follow the numbers below. Two, one, three, four. Okay, so first, second, third, fourth. You do it in a counterclockwise motion from the top right down. Yeah, makes sense, right? One, two, three, four. There you go. Kaboom! And I don't even have to do the heavy lifting. All I gotta do is just grab it. You got a small key. Use this key to open locked doors. Touch a door to open it. You can only use it once. Yes, because these keys are the most fragile keys in existence, and they will break. Uh, they will break into pieces after you use them. I know it's a, it's a cheap mechanic, but still, even so, those are some cheap, cheap freaking keys. They must have molded them in prison out of a bar of soap for them to be that weak. Actually, I'm pretty sure that keys molded from bars of soap aren't even that weak. Oh, great, it's one of these guys again. One of two of these guys again. It's Mr. Chuckles and Mr. Charlie. Ah, crap, 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 crap. 
I didn't do it in time. Oh boy. Ah, crap. They're, they're, they're blocking each other. They're blocking for each other. That's bull. That's bull, man. That's bull, man. And you, you're, you're costing me bombs, too. Oh, come on. You can't defend for each other forever. And now your partner's dead. What are you gonna do, huh? You got no one. You may as well give it up right now because I'm gonna kill you. At least try to face your death with some dignity. Or not, I'll just kill you. That works too. He should have just given up while he had the chance. I knew he and his partner were just a bunch of weasels. This is where I get the item! Grapple hook. Oh, open that thing. You got a grappling hook! Tap things to grab onto them! Light objects will be pulled towards you! You will be pulled to heavy objects! Heavy, man. Check this out. And that is how you find another shortcut in the Ocean Temple. And thankfully, if I remember correctly, you don't even have to enter the Ocean Temple again until a certain something appears. Prick. Dang it. Okay, that's obviously not it. You weirdo. <coughs> Darn it. How do I kill these things? Well, obviously without bombs. Because I just ran out of bombs. That was my last bomb. Bombs? You want it? No. <laughs> it's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. I have rupees. I have a lot of rupees. I be tripping rupees. Ask anybody. Ask... I don't know. What's the equivalent of Professor Oak? Ask the Deku Tree. He knows. Okay. I, I should probably find some bombs or something that will allow me to survive this onslaught. Hang tight real quick. Well, never mind then. <laughs> it occurred to me that maybe I could just rip it off with a grapple hook. What do you know? It worked. You could just rip their masks off. That's awesome. So yeah, forget the bombs, forget everything else. I'm just gonna rip their stupid masks right off their faces and then I'm gonna slam them down. That's the kind of guy I am. Oh, but I'm not gonna kill you all right away. I'm gonna make sure you're all defenseless, and then I'll kill you. Hey, stand still. Stand still, you little freak. Yeah, not so high and mighty now, are you? I'll finish you off in one hit. Take that, you prick. <laughs> And apparently I didn't even have to kill them. But hey, it's a bonus. Ah, okay. It probably has to be done at a certain angle, right? Ah, there we go. Okay, so that... That almost did it, but... There has to be something to keep it down, you know? But how do I do that? How am I going to keep it down? It's kind of weird. Dang. What do I do? I have no idea. Okay, obviously I can't go through ice. That would just be stupid. So, how do I do this? It's kind of weird. You'd think it would just be a... If it could be pulled down and just kept down, that would be one thing, but... As you can clearly see, it keeps flipping back the second I let go of it. And Link just lets go of it the second he can. Okay, this isn't gonna work. I'm being insane right now. So I'm gonna have to search for a solution somehow. Hang tight real quick. Ah. You just had to be farther away from it. Well. 
<laughs> well, excuse me for not figuring that out. Right away. At least I figured it out. Excellent! Here you go, you stupid little ant. You're not so high and mighty without your fancy little tools, are ya? There ya! And now I've got a shortcut! Shortcuts are great! Lovely. Frick. Did it give me bombs because it's trying to tell me something? Because I feel like it's trying to tell me something. It's trying to tell me that I'm an idiot for actually trying to put meaning into that. That sometimes a bomb is just a bomb and that's the end of it. Really? Okay, there we go. There we go, Link. Thank you very much. Okay, then. What to do now? It's probably allowing me to go back to the entrance because there's another thing this... Yeah, okay. Whoops. <laughs> it's another one. There we go. That's all you gotta do. It's just that simple. Which means it'll take me forever to figure it out because simple things... Uh, <laughs> not up my alley. Somehow I find complicated secrets within the blink of an eye without even trying to. But then when it comes to the simple stuff, well, for some reason I just get twisted up, you know? It's weird. What do we have here? I'm guessing that's to give me, yep, it's giving me, give me a grapple target. You got a big red rupee! It's worth 200 rupees! Nice! Now that is a lot of rupees. That's a lot of rupees right there. What the frick? Lily <laughs> does not want to move. Okay. There's got to be something special about this tile. Even if it signifies that it's in front of a bombable wall. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Kaboom! Haha, <laughs> that's exactly what it meant. There you go. Boing! You stand before the great and ominous tightrope challenge. Do you fully comprehend what that means? No. You must cross the wobbly tightrope. What you say? Where is this tightrope? You can make one by connecting a rope between two pegs, can't you? Interesting. That's very interesting, isn't it? Oh, well, apparently you can. Dang. First, I should probably kill that ice geese. It's really bugging me. And I'd like for it to not be bugging me, if you catch my drift. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Even killed them while I was at it. Take this. Well, that was a lot of unnecessary fluff, but oh well. What matters is that I did it. And that's what counts. How do you do that? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know how this works. Okay, Link, get off. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta create the rope. There we go. That's cool. How cool is that? Good thing uh, Link doesn't have an, a finite amount of rope. Because otherwise this might be weird. That he's giving up his rope. Is this a bombable wall? I mean, it's even got light on the other end of it. You would think. Bingo. Bingo, baby! Okay, if I'm reading this correctly, I have to hit all four of those. But in what order? It's impossible to know. Heck, it might be the same order as last time, for all I know. Nah, I guess it just doesn't matter. There you go! I gotta use every advantage to my disposal. At my disposal. Excellently done, Link. Of course, the funny thing is that having physical controls kind of makes this challenge really easy. 
All you gotta do is just tap left and right. Okay, now I gotta pull down the tongue. There you go. That's all you gotta do. It's just... Wait, what? Why is that on a timer? That makes no sense. How could you possibly get there that fast? I know there's a trick. There's gotta be one. Okay, so clearly... You can only get across there by tightrope walking. It will not allow you anything else. Link, jump. Jump, Link. Come on, Link. I mean, there's there's gotta be a time where you realize what you gotta do. I mean, if I'm, if I'm making you walk that way, that means jump off. I mean, for real, man. Maybe I gotta press something. Yeah, that would probably make sense, right? There you go. Ah, oh, you prick! You did the same thing to me that I was doing to your kind! How about some revenge? Well, technically you were getting revenge, but I'm getting revenge on the revenge. So suck on this one, why don't you? It's multi-layered! It's a chain way of revenge! Oh, okay, that's a big tongue. Hot. Dang. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I think I understand now. The longer you pull the tongue, the more time you you get. It makes sense, right? And now I'm trapped behind here. I'm trapped behind the ice. I'm like that magician on the magic tricks revealed. Cool. It's basically telling me the solution here. Or, you know, hinting at it. Since... It's very easy to find yourself in a situation where you end up pulling that way farther than you need to. It makes sense now, doesn't it? It makes perfect sense to me. So what I gotta do is get it as far away as humanly... Never mind. I'm not even at the right spot. I gotta go to the right spot. Yeah, that might, that might help. If I'm as far away as physically possible. The tongue will be extended farther out, and I'll get more time. Logic! It's logic, Eddie! Just in case. I don't want to have to keep redoing this over and over again, or at least the part about coming back. Wait, how do we get over there? I don't know how. I may have bought myself some time, but I still don't know how to get over there. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, okay. My mistake. So what I gotta do first... Wait. Wait, no, that's not gonna work, because there's blue just getting in here. So I gotta find a... I gotta find a trigger. You know, to switch the block colors. But where would I even find one of those? Does one of those exist in this room? And if not, well, I'm kind of boned, because, uh, I can't see any other way to actually do that to where I can go through this. Just doesn't seem possible. But hey, that's the funny thing about this game, it takes things that you thought were impossible, and then you end up finding, well, there, there was a solution all along. Maybe I was meant to go this way, for a reason. I don't know what that reason is yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Fine, whatever. Link, just, just get off it, man. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Not sure what, but, you know what, fine. So I'm gonna have to find a solution here. Oh, well. <laughs> I just, I think I already did. There you go. Okay, I can't get up on there, unfortunately. I have to make it between you and you. Dang, I can't. But how? 
Man, I had the perfect uh, I had the perfect solution going on here. And now I don't know what to actually do with it. You can't hey, Link can't go on the rope itself and he can't go on the torches. So what's that left? What's there left for us? There's not much. Dang it, Link. Dang it, Link. Hmm. If I do it between this one and this one, that would probably be my best bet. And by my best bet, I mean it still is... <laughs> there's still no ch chance in hell. But hey, at least I can say something. Wait. What if I just pull it with the grapple hook directly? Nobody says I can't. In fact, I can. I quite easily can. As I just demonstrated. Well, my bad. Well, I guess I didn't push that far enough. Ooh, nice! Well, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. You just have to think outside the box a little. Just actually pay attention to elements outside of the main ones. Excellent! Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. My mistake. I just gotta cut. Gotta quit being a goober. You've got a wisdom gem! Store it on the collection screen for now! Just do it on the collection screen for now. You wanna know how to do this cool? Do it like this. Do it with the boomerang. Trusty boomerang. That's how you do it. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. You just use all reliable right here. All reliable right here. Can we just cross? Excellent. Could not be simpler. Nah, it probably could, but it couldn't be simpler for me. There, there you go. Pull the tongue out. This is just in case I fail. Really? What the frick? What the frick? Why didn't it pull out that much? Okay, I guess I had to uh, keep holding it down. My bad. That was my bad. You know, I should have done that again. <clears throat> okay. Wait. Take me to it, Johnny. Gotta hurry. There we go. Ah, you son of a... Son of a gun. Ooh, that was close. Wasn't it? Ah, not even close. I still have a good several seconds. <laughs> still pretty tense, though. A little bit. Not so high and mighty without your mask, are you? You were living your life a lie once you actually show your disgusting face for what it is. You slink up like a coward. There's sort of symbolism in that. Somewhere. I see. One of these guys again. Would you guys just ever give up? I mean, come on. If you guys weren't so hostile to me right off the get-go, I probably would have taken your side. I mean, to be honest, those other guys seem kind of snooby. Snooty. You suck. Okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, not so high and mighty without your ogre friend, are you, you little parasite? Yeah, that's what I thought. Parasite the maxim. Or in this case, par parasite the minimum. It gets an idea, gotta see. You are useless without your ogre friend. I will kill you definitely. Right, okay. Wait, wait, get up. Get up. Get up. Not that way, you goober. What are you doing? Why are you doing, Lake? You're embarrassing all of us. I'm very ashamed of you right now. I'm ashamed right now to call you my son. Wait, you're not my son? Dang it, Link! Now you're in, now you're ashamed of the family lineage too. We can't live on like this, Link. You know, like you break in everything. 
Because clearly I'm not the one making you do it. No, clearly you're doing this to yourself. Let's just get across. We can face our fears together, Link, but you have to move. How come he won't? He just doesn't want to get up. You get off the pole. Okay. Thank you. Frick. Okay. You almost fell off the ledge again, Link. What are you doing? There you go. See, that's all you had to do. All you had to do was have a little faith and confidence. It goes a long way, don't you know? Now get over there. Ah, oh, for real, Link? What are you doing? Unfortunately, I'm all out of time, so I'm gonna <laughs> have to quit yelling at him for two seconds. Unfortunately, now I'm just blindly trying to shoot that freaking keys right there before it screws up my day even further. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like small and eventual progress. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.